Racing making up the top five, and this is where we separate the drivers from the racers. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause as we are gonna go underway. They are gonna be starting off with an aggressive start here, very spread out as each and every one of them are gonna be gunning for a good position. How will they be able to tackle this first corner, Hazik? Well, it seems like they are all getting the racing lines real correct and right. See, all of them are really close against each other. They're really following each other's back right now to get that slipstream. Uh, on the way towards the Coca-Cola and they're all really close against each other right now heading towards the Coca-Cola and the 100R so here we can see, see all of them are doing really well against each other they're all just following at the back all following the same lines and they're all really trying to close that margin up together this is a very impressive display here as they're going to be approaching the first turn for the third lap of this race yeah, Mio Half is right there just entering on the first corner real nice, real well Oh, it seems like Afif has uh, taken over him. Afif was able to take over Mio Hafiz. However, we do see Mio Hafiz as well. Not too far behind. Mio Hafiz was able to take it up. Nicely done there coming in from Mio Hafiz. Risking it all just a little bit by not breaking as much as Afif was able to take it away. And Mio Hafiz is back in the lead. Yes, yes. He's defending it right well. He's just saying that all his place, all the number one place, it's his. And now as he turns to it, the hairpin. Not slowing down any slower, taking it cruising lightly, uh, trying to make a gap between him and Afif. And it seems that Afif is still nipping on the coattails of Mior Hafiz, as Mior Hafiz right now senses a little bit of urgency. Will be taking this next Dunlop turn with a little bit more speed here as they're going to be hitting that apex. All of them slowing down now as they're looking towards getting the Dunlop curve turn. Excuse me, the Dunlop turn with more aggression and more speed. It is going to be interesting to see how the race is going to transpire and whether or not those pits are that pit stop will change the landscape of positioning. As we see here, we're going to be watching the drivers right now full in focus being watched up by our lovely marshals here making sure that everything is speak and span yes definitely you can see all the races right now very focused are very in it and now we're back to Taufik who's trying his way to fight against Amir and Iskandar very interesting time here coming in and we do see Mio Hafiz again being able to get a good time with 1 minute and 49 uh, in the in the books already as they're going to be heading over towards the finish line and scoring that fourth lap and heading into the fourth lap here it is going to be a lot more interesting as this game transpires here as we do see a little bit of adaptation being adopted by a lot of these drivers heading into the first turn yes yes as you can see it's really tight match right now going on against Amir Hazik, Skandar and Taufik they're all neck to neck against each other, going towards the Coca Cola before heading off to the 100R, where, you know, in 100R, I think uh, we will see another tight, uh, uh, tight corners in between all these cars. They're all trying to overtake against each other now. Ganesh right now looking towards trying to get the best of K. Iskanda K. Iskanda still has the penalty. Taufik as well looking towards blocking him. Nicely done there coming in, but it seems that Danish will be able to score that seventh spot there, being able to push Taufik down towards eight. And this is going to be very interesting to see as K. Iskanda right now does feel the urgency here as the rest of the races are pressing on. Some of them looking towards qualifying at that fifth spot. Yes, definitely. Now we see Amir Hazek going neck to neck with Iskandar, where Iskandar went a little bit wide over there trying to overtake Amir Hazek, but Amir Hazek seems to be doing well going, clipping through the apex, trying to be in that inside line to go against Iskandar. Okay, now they're going to be hitting on to the fourth turn, into the 100R. This way they can pick up a little bit of speed just before they hit the hairpin right now. This could be an opportunity for the side of Taufik to actually go against K. Iskandar. K. Iskandar right now feels a little bit of the urgency, but K. Iskandar will be able to go for it relatively well here, defending the outside line really, really well against Taufik and making sure to deny it. But this could prove problematic for the side of Taufik. Taufik will be able to score it against K. Iskandar on the sixth spot. Now he needs to knock Amir Hazik down in order for him to qualify. Amir Hazik is going to be the next target for the side of Tafik if he wants to score that qualifying spot into the grand finals. He could probably just do it right and he sees that they are going to be hugging the right side of the track here, heading on to the first corner and this could be interesting here. K. Iskanda trying his best, going almost side to tire here. It's going to be a fight at 6 and 7 spot between Amir Hazik and K. Iskanda. But it seems that K. Iskanda will be able to take him over. Yes, definitely. Like I said, you know, the first corner is really crucial. He got that slipstream from him and he tried to take it from the outside because, you know, Amir Hazik naturally would 
take it from the inside and he'll go a little bit outside and that's when he goes in and take over. That was position. a beautiful switcheroo as it was coined by my co-caster in the first round, which was Victor. Nicely done there from K. Iskandar, but it seems that Amir Hazik has an opportunity for him to actually steal it away from K. Iskandar, but it seems that it's going to be a fight for six and seven spot here. Taufik a little bit too far away. This is the final lap. All bets are off here. If they manage to hold on here, the final Dunlop is where the biggest mistake could be made. If no mistakes are made. Now they're going to be heading over towards the nets here. This is the final stretch. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause. We will see them. Mio Hafiz right now is potentially going to be in first spot, followed by Arif Rosad, Afif, Chow, and Taufik. These five will potentially be your grand finalists. Amazing drive. Brilliant drive by Mio Hafiz. He was just there from the beginning. He was just, you know, keeping it cool. He knew what he uh, he knew what he had to do, and he was just going for it. It was beautifully done as we hit the conclusion. Take it away, Matthew. All right. And it's lights on. Away we go in Fuji Speed Rail right now. Where we see right now, Sharil Uzai. And also, Chang Jing is on the front there. Let's see who gets in on the first turn. And a perfect start there, especially from Shah Jin. And let's see if he gets on the turn one. Off he goes into the turn one there, Victor. And lots of dramas happen on turn one. Yeah. And this is where we talk about Royal Rumble in the track. And there you go. Off we go into turn two. And we're approaching Coca-Cola right now, Victor. Yeah, Rio right now having a very good start. He's going to go make his way up into P4, but he's going to be facing a lot of challenge here, especially for Shop One. He does have a look on the outside, so Shop One will be able to take P4 for now. Rio now having to defend again because Ayman Akeem has made his way from seventh place to make it a six, but now he's right up into Rio's tail. We are going down to 100 R, a very tricky corner, and the hairpin coming up ahead. Looks like Ayman Akeem outbreaks Rio in order to steal away P5. So right now he's in a very safe spot, but he has to defend because a lot of cars are just piled up all behind him, all ready to have a go at the P5 position. But Ayman Akeem is going to have to maintain this until it reaches the end of the race but this is going to be a very very tough race here indeed for Ayman Aki. So he's actually putting himself in a good position though but he now has a fight against Ayman Aki. Oh, oh he's very this. close. He's very close actually and Ayman Aki has a four second penalty. He's going to be fighting two and nail now. He wants to get back into that top five spot and Ayman he's not going to let go. You know this driver is going to be very very aggressive. He wants to keep, be able to keep his P5 oh, and try to keep Swan Jing at bay. It's going to be an absolute scrap now as he comes to his hairpin. Swan Jing has to Inside line. Oh, a bit of contact there onto Ayman Aki, but Ayman still holds on despite all of that. Gets right through, gets into the seventh uh, turn, and he will be able to keep P5 for now. And Swan Jing, as a result, has got a 2.1 second penalty. Exactly, the penalty counts in the end. There's a little bit of a collision there between Ayman, Ayman Akim and also uh, Shang Jing there, but then still, in the end of the day, Ayman did absolutely perfectly well to defend his position on the front. And no. there you go, Ayman is going all out. <laughs> Off they go into the turn one. This is one of the crucial turns, of course, with lots of speed. Oh! Ayman Akeem had to break a little bit harder there on the first turn because he wanted to try to bleed off the penalty. But as a result, Swan Jing outbreaks him and almost rear-ended him off the track there. Now Ayman Akeem has to defend very hard. He has the inside line going into Coca-Cola. He will be able to take it handily there. Swan Jing having to take a much wider line there in order to avoid a collision with Ayman Akeem. Now they're going down towards 100R. Swan Jing now is fighting with his car to make sure he can make it through that corner right behind Ayman Akeem because that's exactly where he wants to be by the time he gets up to the hairpin. But it's going to be 300 R that will be determined here and Swan Jing looking a little bit loose there as he gets through the hairpin. He's going to have to try to keep his car together now but unfortunately Ayman Akeem is starting to pull away a 0.7 second gap now as now Swan Jing has to defend against Rio who suddenly sends an opportunity here. He's going to dive around the inside here going oh, to the top left corner. Oh but he doesn't quite get through though. Swan Jing just closes the door onto him and ensures that he stays in P6. However the ghost thing here is going to ensure that Rio will be able to stay right up in his tail. Will they be able to keep together until to get to the next corner. So, Rio and Swan Jing now still in a scrap, an absolute dog fight now as they try to get up to that final corner. Swan Jing having a much cleaner line there, finally pulls away from this battle with Rio. He's going to be able to stay up in P6. Exactly. What surprises me is Rio, they're dropping from P6 
to P7. But what amazes me more was Ayman Akim, man. He is still actually uh, defending his line there all the way from P5. He's still keeping it clean. He wants to get into the top five qualifications right now. But still, we have a lot to talk about from P5 all the way to P8. He needs to get rid yes. of that 2.5 second penalty. That is absolutely going to be the, the determining factor here. If he's not able to get rid of it by the end of this race, he will have P5 here to Swan Ching. Now, his best place to do that is right here at the first corner, breaking a little bit harder, slowing the car down a little bit more. That's going to be able to shave away that penalty. But with 2.3 seconds now, as he clears in through the first corner, I think it's going to be an uphill battle here for Ayman Akeem. You know, even though he's not already racing on Swan Ching, but speaking oh, of racing man. now, Swan Ching and Rio going side by side to go down Coca-Cola corner. Rio will be able to have a little bit of a nose in front of him as he has an inside line going to 100 R. Rio now trying to snatch oh. away the opportunity of Swan Ching. He loses a bit of grip there, going into the understeer, and Rio will be able to end up just ahead of him, taking P6 away from Swan Ching. He is right now sitting in that position, but he has a penalty, so Rio is starting to catch up to him, and he knows that if I'm gonna keep, he's not able to get rid of the penalty by the end, he will literally take P5 away from him. So this is the last chance for Rio to yes. be able to make it to the grand finals now as he comes down to the 300R. 0.4 seconds, we need to do it. Rio needs to be able to get side by side along him as he gets down to the Dunlop chicane. Now I'm gonna keep breaking, he's gonna have to try oh. to get out of the can. Oh, getting into the ghost oh, again, but Rio will really get up in here. Rio now trying to scrap against I'm gonna going into the final turn. I'm gonna keep now trying to just stay that little bit ahead. Ghosting now turning off, but then getting back on again as I'm gonna keep now slithering his way through the 13th corner. Now coming up to mess as Rio now has incurred a 0.4 second penalty. He doesn't need that right now. He needs to get in front of I'm gonna keep. He needs to take that P5. They're coming up to us. The Panasonic corner now. Rio taking a wider line, trying his absolute best right now to get in front of I'm gonna keep. But it looks like he will not be able to make it, or will I don't he? Think no, so. he I does don't have think the trap. So. He does have the trap. Maybe he's he going has to it. Straight. They're going to be cutting it pedal to pedal, but it looks like he's going to try to do it. It's best oh, No, man. will Rio be able to make it though? He still has the point for seconds. They will come across the line. Will he make it? No, no he, he didn't. Not. He lost it, man. What a close battle, guys. I mean, between Rio and also Ayman Akim. That is the battle of the century. All right, I need to remind her that I need to sit down. <laughs> oh we my were God. standing all out. What a race there, man. That was race of the century there. Wow. <laughs> I my mean, goodness, me and Victor guys. was going all out for this fantastic race. I mean, this deserved to be in the finals there. Well, I'm pretty sure we might see a lots of different actions on the final. But man, oh man. Whew. That was basically, we were like... Uh, on a rap battle or something, man. <laughs> Jeez, dude, like that was absolutely intense racing. Shout out there to I'm at a game real, like it literally brought the end, but you know, Let's not take away from the victory here because Shariel yeah. Dindar, he led this race through and through. He took that P1, he held on in like a dog, and he made sure he brought it home there. Toyota, all about the drive.